Hey guys, welcome to another Reviewers Time. I'm your host Dustin Devils, and today we have the Boondock Saints. That's right, Connor and Murphy McManus. NECA released them quite a few years back, actually. Um, let me check here. It was like 2005 or something. I remember seeing them in Hastings and really wanting them like super bad. But they were just really expensive even then. Um, now they're really expensive though. We should have got them then, huh? Well, today is special because today is my birthday basically is what I'm doing these for. I got these for my birthday, so gonna get a little review time here. Though my hand's a little wrapped up, but we'll try to, uh, do it with one hand okay here we go um this is Connor McManus and Connor McManus is played by Sean Patrick Flannelly and he is one of the Boondock Saints obviously I think he was the first one born I don't remember you can remember from the movie if uh if you remember correctly everything they say in the movie uh on the deleted scenes, I know the mom kind of says who who the uh, who the one that was born first was, but everyone's always ch says you have to choose which one you like, and like they're always like, I like I like more Marinus's character more. He's more of a badass. Well, I disagree. I think they're both the same. I think they both have their like the same exact fucking same exact fucking wittiness, the same exact sense of humor, and they're both very funny fucking characters, and they're really cool characters. And I was really glad to score these guys. You have no clue how fucking hard I've been looking for them. I'm trying to get these longer than the Jason Part 6, and now that I got these instead of, you know, didn't get the Jason Part 6 yet, of course, but now that I do have these, I'm just like, well, fuck Jason Part 6 right now. I just scored something even bigger. So... Let's get on to the figures. Sorry for me running my mouth. I know you guys want to get on to the figures. You toy freaks. Anyways, this is the uh, head that comes with Connor, which is uh, Sean Patrick Flannelly's character. Um, very nice sculpt. My camera's a little weird. Kind of darkish video. But here is uh, his head. Looked pretty good. Look at my crazy crack fingernail. Thumbnail. There he is. Looks pretty good. Um comes with his he has his tattoos he has his rosary his legs have tears in the pants which are really cool um, he's got cut pants there if you can tell that's how you can kind of tell him apart because Sean is actually shorter than Norman and they got the he's got the uh, Ventetis on his hand there if my camera will let us zoom in my camera hates me guys well anyways it, it won't zoom in I don't know, I need to fuck with this thing. Anyways, there's the, uh, Ventennis on his hand. The Venturus or whatever. And he comes with a regular pistol. And then the same exact pistol with a, uh, silencer on it. Because that's what they do. They use silencers so they're not detected. And it's very loud when they're getting shot. Shooting people. And here's Norman's. And here's Murphy McManus. And, uh... He basically is the exact same body mold as Sean Dragon Clean, except for his legs are a little bit different. And you look at the pants. The pants aren't ripped, so you can tell that. I know in uh, Mike Echoes, he didn't mention that. Uh, that's the first review I watched of it. And after I seen him, I was like, man, I really want to get some. So, yeah. Big shout out to Mike Echo for actually getting them and let me see what they look like finally. And uh, Norman does not look like Norman in the face with the... Uh, with the uh, one right here without the glasses it just does not look like Norman Reedus at all it's like it's kind I can kind of see him a little bit if my camera will let me zoom in I can kind of see him a little bit but not really I mean it's got the mole right there but in the nose but like it just doesn't really look like him but the one with the glasses does look a little bit more like him see that if you guys remember him from any other movies other than Boondock Saints uh, I'll do a little list for you real quick that he's in. He's in Blade, the second one. He looks like Chad Muska, the pro skater in that, I always thought. Um, he's the one who betrays Blade. He was working for Whisper. I think he gets killed, I'm not sure. 
and he's in uh, a really awesome ass movie about the Bronx and there's gangs in it and one of my favorite actors was in that Brad Renfro who died not too long back God rest his soul um, he plays as uh, Marco Vendetti who's a uh, who's a drug dealer and they like try to keep the drunk off the streets and he was accused and all this and he tries to kill them but he dies too anyways in it but yeah, and Stephen Dorse in that movie. It's a real good Grease movie. It's like our days, uh, Outsiders, kind of. Really fucking kick-ass movie, though. Check it out. It's called Deuce is Wild. And he's in a, just a bunch of stuff. He's also in Walking Dead, for all you guys who already knew that. He plays Daryl Dixon from Walking Dead. One of everyone's favorite people. I thought he was a goner there. Didn't you guys think he was a goner there when he woke up to that zombie biting his boot? After he got that fucking arrow through his gut? Anyways, yeah, so... The articulation is their arms move up and down, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, review-ish time. I don't really review, I just talk. Um, arms move up and down, hands move back and forth like this. I think they, yeah, they do. They kind of move, they bend a little. They're very shoved in there. Break yourself, fool. And they come with their rosaries, of course, you can take off. And little jackets, little pea coats. And that's about it for them. They got holes in their feet. Their knees don't really bend. Their waist do, but they're very rendered through the jackets. They can't really do a lot of poses. I mainly just keep them in this one, the execution pose, because uh, the execution pose is like one of the coolest ones. Kind of just sitting there. Oh! Norminate it. Norminate it bad. There, I freed my other hand up. There. My other hand's freed. I always get stuck hold using one hand. I'm like, which one do I use? Which one? So I'll, I'll try to get them both. And it's funny because I have a tripod, but I, I'd rather hold it for steelness. So there you guys go. There's the Boondock Saint figures. They were by released by NECA, I believe, in like 2005 or some shit. Uh, this is a wild bad guys. This is a really long time ago. They were released. These are actually very old figures. Um, I don't know if Nick puts dates on them or not. It's not on the boots or anything. Mm. If you guys get a chance to play the Boondock Saints game, play it. It's fun. Just blast shit for hours.